online courses have become typical in higher education settings. But how have faculty experiences with it changed over time? To find an answer, we examine the results from the Survey of Faculty Attitudes on Technology. This survey is conducted by Inside Higher Ed, an education media group that reports on trends in higher education. Each year, the survey asked four questions about faculty experiences with online learning. The questions were, have you ever taken an online course as a student for credit? Have you ever taught an online course for credit? Have you ever taught a blended or hybrid course? And have you ever taught a face-to-face -face course? Here's what we discovered when we examined trends in the results from 2013 to 2018. Not surprisingly, every year between 95 to 99 percent of faculty responded that they had taught a face-to-face -face course. Substantially, fewer faculty report teaching with online courses and blended or hybrid courses. Let's take a closer look at these findings. First, let's look at their experiences with online courses as a student. We see an overall increase in the percentage of faculty that had taken an online four credit course as a student. However, this increase was slight and the majority of faculty each year indicated that they had never taken an online four credit course themselves. When we looked at the teaching experiences of faculty, we see a relatively steady increase. In 2013, only 30% of survey respondents had taught an online course for credit, but by 2018, this had risen to 44%. This increase makes sense, considering reports that online education continues to expand. Although the percentage of faculty teaching online courses appears to increase, year after year, more than half of faculty indicate that they had never taught an online course. The same with blended and hybrid courses. A majority of faculty reported having never taught a blended or hybrid course. Even though we see variations between the years, in 2013, 39% of faculty responded that they had taught a blended or hybrid course. In 2018, that number stood at 38%. What then are the implications of these findings? These results show that even though online learning is an important component of a modern educational system, most faculty in the U.S. do not have any experience with online education. In developing initiatives to prepare faculty to teach online, it is necessary to ensure that faculty feel knowledgeable, equipped, and well-supported as they venture into the lesser-known world of online instruction. Another implication relates to the pace of change in higher education. Despite the relatively fast pace of technological advancement and the growth of online learning, the higher education sector needs to invest in people and support faculty in their online learning efforts. Thanks a lot for tuning in. If you liked this research short, please share it with your friends, colleagues, and students.